Hello viewers and welcome to today's video. My name is Will and today I thought it would be fun if I brought you guys to work with me. And um, see, see what you guys don't know is that I actually live here in this little village called Salem with my best friend and roommate Valentino. And the two of us work as the town executioners. So uh, it's a great job, Valentino loves it. Uh, he even dyed his wool black uh, to be like a proper executioner for the video today. And so I thought this would be great because, you know, you guys never see this side of me because I've, I've never recorded this before. But uh, I mean, I do it all the time. It's, it's my job. I do it every day. And so um, I see what we do is we line up these, uh, all the villagers who are uh, evil, basically. Uh, all the ones who have been convicted of murder or witchcraft or anything like that. And we, uh, we do a little program that we like to call an eye for an eye. And uh, basically, however they kill people, that's how they will die. And so uh, this guy here was an arsonist. So we're going to set him on fire. Which is weird because he used to be the captain of the fire department and he, uh, he went crazy and started burning things down, mostly books. Uh, he, the reason he's being executed is because he burned down a library and killed a bunch of people in it. I don't know. It's weird that you go from the captain of the fire department to an arsonist. I don't know, Beatty was such a weird guy. Um, anyway, uh, this woman right here, uh, her name is Rose. She actually drowned her boyfriend, so we're going to drown her. It's kind of a sad story. Her and her boyfriend, I, they seem to be so in love, they even took a romantic cruise together. And I don't really know what happened out there, but when she came back, she was uh, handcuffed by the police and they said that she drowned her boyfriend, uh, which is which is a little bit too bad, I guess. And yep, there she goes. Poor woman. Uh, I really do feel bad for her, but my heart will go on. So this man right here, his name is Jack, uh, which is uh, coincidentally, the name of the man that Rose killed, uh, the, her boyfriend that she drowned, but it's obviously not the same person because, uh, you know, this guy's alive, but he won't be for long. Haha, <laughs> uh, executioner jokes. We, we're not, we're not entirely serious. We, we like to have fun here on the job sometimes. But uh, this man is actually very evil. He's probably the most evil out of the whole bunch because he dropped a giant rock on a little piggy, on an innocent little piggy, and killed it. And piggies are held very sacred here in the village of Salem. So this guy got uh, the death penalty for it. And since he crushed a piggy with rocks, we are going to crush him with rocks. There he goes. He, wow, he like disappeared. That was kind of crazy how that happens. And uh, all right, yeah, it's getting a little bit emotional. This is actually, can't even look at me. Huh. This is actually one of my childhood best friends. We used to hang out every Saturday morning um, his name is Wiley, and he he um, he dropped an anvil on an innocent man who was running on the road. Terrible, ter I can't believe he would do such a thing. Probably all that cartoon violence that we used to watch, but um, I, you know, an eye for an eye. Goodbye, Wiley. <sighs> this job is pretty tough sometimes. Valentino, I, I know that you wanted to take that one for me, but you know, it's something that that I need to do myself, you know? I, I don't know if I can explain that. I mean, guys, yeah, it's a very serious job. It's very emotionally tolling, and whew, that's gonna take some while to get over. But uh, anyway, this this is a guy right here that I do not like. This man is named Coriolanus, and he's actually the ex-president of the town. Mm -hmm. Turns out he had been poisoning all of the other politicians so that he could always get his way. So, uh, we've got our finest apothecaries to make some very strong poison, and we are going to get him with it. Good riddance, you bastard. Can't believe him. You know what's funny is before I became the executioner, he was supposed to be executed by the last person who was it, which was a girl named like Cat something. I don't, I don't remember, but uh, she went crazy. They tied him to like a cross and she was supposed to just shoot him with an arrow straight through the heart, but then she shot the new president instead. And it, it was messy, guys, it was messy. So that was two presidents down. That's two presidents down in one day. But now Scout's the president. Scout, you all know Scout, my purple priest friend. Um, yep, he's the president now and it's happy once again. We found all these terrible criminals and we're finally getting around to punishing them, which is great. The town is much better. Um, this man, his name is Giles Corey and uh, his wife was a witch and we have a reason to believe that he is also uh, summoning Satan and wreaking having havoc across the town, but he won't say anything to us. He's remained silent this whole time, so instead of being hanged like uh, his wife was, 
we have to use a method called pressing, which we're going to drop rocks on him until he suffocates. So sorry, Giles, you should have said something. You would have gotten a much nicer punishment. Oh, you're talking. Wait, what was that? What was that? Huh. I don't know. What, what, what did he say, Valentino? It kind of sounded like he was saying more weight. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, though. All right, well, this man here, his name is Drevel. Valentino, <laughs> come on, man, get out of the way. Uh, so Drevel, we're slowly dunking him into this pit of lava because he is actually an evil doctor, and he, um... He killed people by throwing them into a pit of sharks with freaking laser beams on their head, which is crazy. So we were gonna do the same to him, but unfortunately, uh, there is no oceans around here to be found, um, like anywhere at all. And um, so we just use lava instead as a, as a fine substitute. But uh, I mean, it, it's gonna work just as well. Say goodbye, Drevel. Can't believe him. You know, his, his twin brother, is uh, one, of, one of those good people that he tried to kill. Luckily, he got away. Um, so this right here is a woman named Matilda up there, and she's accused of being a witch. Uh, and she is a witch. I mean, I've seen her. She's moved stuff just by looking at it, and I've, I've seen it happen, and it's terrifying. And uh, so we're, what we're going to do is lock her in this thing right here, kind of similar to an Iron Maiden. Uh, I call it the Chokey. Basically, we... We punish people by making them stand in there, and they have to stand absolutely still, or else they'll be pricked by the cacti. Yeah. Oh, Valentino! <gasps> Valentino! No! No. No, Valentino, no. My best friend, huh? If they could get just powers to keep my best friend get away with it, well, no, Frick wrong. Hey there, Matilda. Two, eh? Yeah. Gonna kill us ever again. That wasn't a standard method of execution. That was just axe murder. I. Oh God. I, I gotta get out. <laughs> what? Well, that thing was dark. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect. I don't know. I kind of panicked and I did. So, yes, which um made the video a lot more interesting. So, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can pin like 15. No, let's just, let's just shoot. As many likes as possible. I really, I would really appreciate that because it does mean a lot. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, go and don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube. My name is Will Dingbond, and goodbye.